Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to our first episode, kind of our redo of Seek and Destroy Collects. Uh, some of you who have been on the channel for a long time know that I actually tried to do something like this over a year or a year and a half ago and uh, just never was able to follow through with it. So now I wanted to get back on this and show you my Ghost Rider collection. So I deleted those previous two episodes and this is kind of be our first new issue, you know, episode number one, kind of. And in this one, we're not going to go over anything specific as far as like, you know, full year worth of stories because what I did was I decided to break down my Ghost Rider run which is in this box here and then there's a second box as well and uh, these two short boxes have pretty much the entire run from the 90s of the Dan Ketch Ghost Rider series and so we will go through those boxes soon but I wanted to make this video uh, to start us off saying that we're coming back that we're you know doing new episodes again and we're going to start over with the collection because I've recently added to the collection so now that first episode I did is kind of obsolete and that's why I wanted to delete it because I have new issues that take place during that first year of Ghost Rider. So what I did here was I went on milehighcomics.com recently, and I want to definitely give them a quick plug, and you'll see some stuff here that, you know, some stuff I recorded from their website. Uh, it's a really cool website. Uh, Chuck is kind of the guy who's been in business for decades now, and, uh, you know, just definitely has one of, like, the coolest uh, series or chains of comic stores out there and he makes an appearance at comic-con and a lot of different places that i've seen him at and his you know his business at and i love them they're awesome uh they, they you know if you sign up for their newsletter they tell you these really great stories you know about like their personal life and they get really you know they get really they try to connect with you uh you know and i kind of like that from a newsletter and so and then they'll also include in their newsletters like you know promo codes like hey it's memorial day you can use this word and it'll be a discount or you know they'll share stories with you know from their life where they're like hey our our truck like one of our truck shipments was stolen or something happened to it and uh you know we're trying to recoup that money so we're going to do a special sale and if you put in this code you'll get your books you know at like 50 percent off or 60 percent off and all that money will go to buying us a new truck you know and things like that so it's a fit you know it's a family run business and uh, they're always really nice and I, I love ordering from them whenever I can I try to support a lot of businesses um, I'm just kind of old school like that <laughs> as people are like oh you, you spend your money on stupid stuff and I'm like not really and I get to help out businesses like this so I would say if you are online and you order comics online and you're ever trying to complete a collection like I've been doing with Ghost Rider definitely check out Mile High Comics they are awesome um, so uh, with that I will say that these are the books that I picked up recently that feature Dan Ketch. So again, I'm not just collecting Ghost Rider. I'm collecting books he's appeared in, the Dan Ketch Ghost Rider. So this is one of them. This is Wolverine 89, and Ghost Rider's not even on the cover, which is why I didn't know he was in this issue. Um, I actually have a master list that I've pulled from different sources online of books that Dan Ketch has appeared in. I think I went to like three or four different websites, and then at one point I was like in a message board talking to people, uh, and I made this list like years ago, and then up, been updating it every you know couple years. And, uh, and so there's some things on there that I was missing. And so Wolverine 89 here is an appearance of Dan Ketch that I was missing. So I was like, I have to get it, <laughs> you know, especially if it's Wolverine meeting Ghost Rider, I got to get that issue. Um, and so, yeah, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go through this order that I got from Mile High Comics recently. So you can kind of see the books they give you and they, and they can do it in different grades. So like you can, like this one's bent. Uh, for me, I don't care about bends or damaged books especially if I get them for like 50 cents or a dollar. Um, I do not care, especially with a book like this, like Quasar. Um, you know, Ghost Rider also appeared in issue 22 and 24 of this run, but this was the only, you know, issue, I guess, out of that Quasar run that uh, that had Ghost Rider in it that Mile High had. So sometimes you run into things where they don't have them currently in stock or, you know, someone or they already sold it or whatever, um, but they get collections all the time. So uh, I always go back every like two months or a month or so, you know, sometimes at that frequently to try to, you know, find the books I'm missing. So I'm still, you know, missing issue 22 and 24 because I'm trying to complete this. I want every appearance uh, in the 616 universe by Dan Ketch, not the ultimate comic stuff or none of that. Even though I have some of it digitally, I just don't own it in, in hard copy. Uh, but you can, so this is a G for good and it has a, a bend on it but it's not like horrible condition and that to me is fine if I get it for a dollar I don't care My, for me I'm it's more about cl uh, completing a collection and not completing a collection in mint condition um, and uh, so then we have a very good copy here of Sleepwalker number 11 guest starring Ghost Rider and this was another one I didn't know he was in uh, so I was so glad that I updated my list like three months ago uh, and found some of these issues so that was really cool so it's it's uh Great that there's other Dan Ketch fans out there that are willingly able to share information with me so that I can complete this collection because uh, I was like, oh man, I, I just want, 
I don't care if he's like in a book for like a panel or two. Those typically don't interest me. It's when he's like guest starring in a book, like where there's an actual story and interaction between him and the main character of that book. Like that, those are the kind of stuff I want in my collection. So there's a couple issues. You know, I made a list of stuff I'm missing and a couple of them are just him in like a panel or two. And I don't really care so much about that. Um, this book here, I had no idea was a book that existed. Uh, this is Amazing Spider-Man Hit and Run, issue three. And it has a uh, Ghost Rider appearing in it, obviously, uh, to come save this kid. It looks like a uh, car is barreling down on this young kid. He's wearing a Blue Jay shirt, which is awesome. I was a Blue Jays fan when I was a kid. And uh, and yeah, and so Spider-Man and Ghost Rider are racing in to, to try to save him. Uh, so I don't know. This, I mean, I guess that's the story, uh, you know, line. But I, I actually don't know. I never heard of that book. And I was like, well, I got to have it. So when I saw a very good copy of it on Mile High, and like I did at the Memorial Day sale, which is over now, unfortunately. But when I did the sale, I think this book was 50% off for everything I bought in this uh, episode so i think all these books that i'm going to show you total to like 24 bucks uh, and then plus like six dollars for shipping and handling so not bad at all so that's why i'm saying like definitely hit up that website mile high is really awesome uh the next two issues here we have daredevil the man without fear 295 uh, side by side with the ghost rider another very good copy and then i also have a fine copy of 294 so ghost rider appears like i think on the last page of this one and normally like i said i don't care about that stuff but i saw it, it was on there for like a dollar after the 50 percent discount so i was like okay well i'll just get it because why not if it's for a dollar i don't mind but yeah typically if he's just in a panel like x-men number eight i think he's just in one panel at the end i don't really care about that so i don't own x-men number eight i own x-men number nine though where he's actually in it teaming up with the x-men um and then yeah there's number 295 and he's in that full issue i think there's another issue 372 of daredevil that has ghost rider in it but unfortunately, I couldn't find that on Mile High, so I have to track that down somewhere else so I can keep uh, working away at this collection. Uh, this is the Marvel Holiday Special, and uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess Ghost Rider's in there. I didn't know about this book either. So uh, again, this is why it's good when you're building a collection to constantly check in and update your lists and find other hardcore fans like you online and talk to them and see what they have in their collection and why they have it and you know, how much Ghost Rider appears and stuff. He's not in this a ton, but he's got an appearance. And, you know, again, I saw it was like on there for like a dollar. Um, it's in good condition. So there's like some stain on it, like some dirt and stuff. Um, and there's like some bends. I don't really care. Again, I'm just buying it because uh, I want it in my collection. The collection means more to me complete than it does in great condition. Like I, I don't mind the condition so much. We have another two issues here. Ghost Rider vs. Deathlock round two. Uh, this is issue 10. And then I also have issue nine here uh, called Roadkill. And this is a two-part story where Ghost Rider fought Deathlock. And I did know these existed. I just never, I was like, eh, I don't know if I want to get them. I don't know if I want to add them to the collection. But uh, again, when I saw them on here, I was like, okay. Uh, you know, they were like $1.50 each after the 50% discount. So I was like, okay, that's worth it. Totally worth it. So um, I threw them in. But yeah, and Deathlock's such a cool character. Uh, especially, I like some of the 90s stuff they did with them. And some of the, I think, early 2000s or late 90s, they did a good run with him as well. Uh, next, I have two Darkhawk issues. We talked about him recently on my Venom vlog show. And we'll talk about him again because he has a rematch with Venom coming up. But in this, there's four great Darkhawk stories. And apparently one of them has Ghost Rider in it. I actually don't even know if that's true. Uh, I saw this on someone's list and I asked him about it. And they're like, oh, yeah, he's, he's in it. He's in one of the short stories. But I don't know. I, I just took him for his word. And when I saw this for like, I think this was only like a dollar 25 i was like all right i'll get it it's in fine condition and you know it might have ghost rider in it so sometimes i'm wrong and sometimes you get wrong information but i'm banking on that it'll be there and like i said when we do the show where i go through the collection and then i'll pick some random issues to do like reviews of um you know we might land on one of these and i'll i'll open it up and <laughs> check it out see if he's in there uh but this he's definitely in this is dark hawk number 22 and uh return to forever part two flaming terror with ghost rider so Darkhawk had a lot of these stories where it would be like four or five issue or six issue stories. And then in those, like a character would show up in one issue. So like Venom would show up in part four or five of a Darkhawk story. Um, and then this one, Ghost Rider shows up in issue two. I can't remember if he's in the issue before this and after this. I, I can't remember. It's I, I honestly don't know. <laughs> uh, but if he is, he's probably only up for a page or so. So it's not a big deal to me. But I wanted this one so because he's on the cover especially that's where the wolverine cover was weird because like you know back here on the, the wolverine cover there's no uh there's no uh, ghost rider 
And I was like, wait, he's in this issue? Are you for real? And so when I ordered it and it came in, and that was actually the one I opened. I was like, I got to see if he's in this Wolverine book. And sure as anything, he was like on page two and then throughout the rest of the book. So um, I'm glad I have that now. These are some weird ones. Uh, at one point, Marvel in the 90s had like a UK, Marvel UK brand. And it was like a bunch of these offbeat characters that they were trying to like, you know, test out to see if like, uh, I guess, American audiences and other people would dig them. So this is Shadow Riders. I actually remember the book vaguely. But I didn't know Ghost Rider was in an issue. So he apparently shows up here in issue two. And I was like, all right, I'll get it. I, I don't even know if I'll read it. I, I think this is just going to be one of those books where I'm like, all right, it's part of the collection. And that's fine. Because the thing is about this collection is I love Dan Ketch. I like the character a lot. Uh, I, you know, connect with that character a lot uh, reading through it. It's actually one of the reasons why I like the show Supernatural was because of how much it reminds me of this 90s Ghost Rider run. Uh, so so for me, like, you know, when I look at my current fandoms like Supernatural and how big of a fan I am of that show, it makes me think back to this run a lot. And uh, and so I want things that progress the Dan Ketch storyline. And that's why I don't care too much about the cameos. But, you know, sometimes when you find things for a dollar, you just can't pass them up. Uh, that's where this comes in too. This is another Marvel UK book called Gunrunner. And uh, this is issue two. It has the Spirits of Vengeance in it. So you have Dan Ketch here. And then on the flip side of the cover, you have Johnny Blaze. Uh, so it's actually both of them in this book. I think this came out after the Spirits of Vengeance comic started. So this is like maybe mid-90s or something like that. But uh, yeah, so you get both of them. And Johnny Blaze, you know, who was the first Ghost Rider, played by Nick Cage in the movies, he no longer is a Ghost Rider in the 90s stuff. And that's why, that's the kind of the version of the character I like is when he's this you know, half, he's got like cyborg parts and a, a gun that, like a shotgun that shoots hellfire or something. It's like, yeah, I like that version of him better than him as Ghost Rider. Um, he is a good Ghost Rider though, but uh, I like him better uh, as, as Johnny Blaze. And so here's him on Gunrunner number one. So they were in issue one and two, and this comes with apparently some trading cards. Um, but uh, yeah, they, they had like the version on Mile High. They were like, you can get it with the bag and with and the cards, or you can get it without. And Typically, when I buy things like this, I want the full experience, like how it came out, when it came out. So I went ahead and paid the extra like dollar or whatever it was to get it with the cards, even though the cards mean nothing to me. It's just like, yeah, I just I want it in its original state. Um, so, yeah. So Gunrunner, you get both uh, Ghost Rider and Johnny Blaze in there. And then this one, um, Miss, uh, Miss Tech Wars. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the 90s were a fun time. Uh, but there's Death's Head, uh, too, which that's cool. Um, and Hulk. The world's greatest hero side by side to the ends of the earth. And yeah, apparently Ghost Rider shows up in this issue. Although I don't know, he's not on the cover. As you can see here, there's Wolverine Cap, Captain Britain. Um, so he's not on the cover here. So I'm a little worried <laughs> that I got, uh, I got bought a book I don't need, but yeah, that happens sometimes. Uh, then we also have here, we have uh, Thor, number 430. And this, I actually didn't know Ghost Rider appeared in a Thor book, but I mentioned this before in the previous episodes, so I'll reiterate here since we deleted those episodes, um, and we're going to redo them basically, and then uh, starting with the next episode. But uh, in this, um, in the early '90s, when they first introduced this Ghost Rider, he caught on pretty quickly, and Marvel wanted to make sure he stayed popular, so they released a ton of stuff. They did toys, like you can see over here. Um, they did these pins. They did these like exclusive art prints that you could buy that I have that you know we'll talk about trading cards, and they just put him in every book. They were like, we need Ghost Rider to meet Thor. Um, and he did it in this issue in 430. And then he appears for like a page or so in this one. But since it says in the pages stalks Ghost Rider at the top, it gets cut off there. But since it actually mentions him there and has his skull on it, that's the only reason I bought 429 because I was like, all right, he's in it for like a page or two at the end. And again, normally I don't care about that, but when he's featured on the cover, I definitely want that. I want, I want that part of my collection. Um, so yeah, I'm really weird. I'm very nitpicky with how I want this collection to be. It's got to be just right uh, for me. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so Ghost Rider just started appearing in everything. They were like, we need him in X-Men. We need him in you know Thor. We need him in Daredevil. Like anything we can put him in. And what's funny is that every writer who got it, because you know we had Howard Mackey who created him along with Mark Texieri. Um, those two created Dan Ketch and did the main book. But uh, everyone who wrote Dan Ketch outside of the pages of Ghost Rider also did a great job. It was really interesting. I wonder how much conversing Howard Mackey did 
with these other writers, or maybe it was the editor on Ghost Rider working with these other writers, or I don't know, but it, he was very consistent. That's one of my favorite things about this run was they threw this character ever because people always talk about, oh, they crammed this character down my throat. Like in modern day stuff, they're like, they're like, oh, the, you know, uh, Miss Captain Marvel's like crammed down my throat. Like Marvel is begging me to love that character or whatever. And it's like people get all bent out of shape. But this is, that's a practice that comics have done forever. They always try to cram down ideas down your throats to make you love them. Um, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And Ghost Rider though, uh, the 90s Ghost Rider with Dan Ketch, that just worked for a lot of people. And so anytime he popped up in something, uh, people like kind of flocked to it. And he was, his book was selling so many copies in the early nineties. It was unbelievable. Um, so yeah. And then I also picked this up, uh, Marvel fanfare number three, and this is towards the end of Ghost Rider's run. So this is after Howard Mackey left and they had the new writer come on. I'm blanking on his name right now, but we'll talk about him in the show. Uh, but I thought he did a pretty good job actually. And they redesigned Ghost Rider. So he was in this like yellow and red costume, uh, which was funny because right before this, they did the Marvel amalgam thing where the heroes of the Marvel universe and the heroes of the DC universe formed together to make one new character and Ghost Rider formed with uh, Wally West uh, Flash and became a character called Speed Demon <laughs> which is awesome I don't have that issue I gotta find it though I have it in a trade paperback but not in a single issue so I'm gonna try to find that and add it to the collection because even though it's not really Dan Ketch in the book I think it's like Dan West or or Wally Ketch I can't remember they merged their names um, but, uh, yeah, he was speed demon and he was awesome. He was so awesome. He had the powers of the flash. He could run fast, but he was like, uh, you know, powered by hellfire or something. It was really cool. Um, so yeah, so I have that. And then, uh, Marvel fanfare again, I didn't know Ghost Rider appeared in this. And so it was nice to see this as part of someone's collection. And I was like, oh, cool. I'll have to look it up. And it's him teaming up with Ben Riley Spider-Man, which is even cooler. Cause I actually didn't know those two characters met at all. Um, so I'm very jazzed about that. And then last, my last book I got is this uh, Charleston Chew book. So I actually had this as a kid. If you ate Charleston Chew, which was funny because where I lived in like Mississippi or Florida, wherever I was living, they didn't have Charleston Chew. I couldn't, I couldn't find it at like my local, you know, 7-Eleven or whatever. So when I visited my grandparents that summer, they Charleston Chew had this ad where if you ate enough Charleston Chews and you sent the wrappers or something like that in, you would actually get this book sent to you. And it's a flip book. There's Spider-Man on this side and Wolverine on the other. And then in the middle, there's two other short stories. And one of those short stories is Ghost Rider. And the other one is Silver Surfer. So here you have Spider-Man and Silver Surfer there. And then on the flip side of the book, you know, which is, you know, bagged up right now. But on the flip side, it has Wolverine here with Jubilee and then Ghost Rider right there. So it's like a little four-page Ghost Rider story. And again, you know, do I really need it for the collection? No, but it was kind of cool. And I just happened to see it. I, I had this book when I was a kid and I don't know what happened to it. So when I saw this on Mile High and it was in good, con uh, very good condition, uh, but it does have a ding right here, but everything else looks pretty good. I mean, the spine's a little beat up, but I, I, I don't know if I would categorize that as very good, but it doesn't matter to me uh, because I got it for like a dollar twenty-five. So and that's the it was a dollar fifty value when it came out, but I had to eat like eight Charleston shoes or whatever to get it, so it was actually more expensive than that when I was a kid. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm glad to have it. So this year, these are like new books I just got in recently. These are going to be added to the collection that is in this short box behind us uh, or behind these books, and uh, and we will you know do episodes on them very very soon. I might even you know, record some today if I have some more time later on because I have the day off today. So, um, yeah, so you'll see more Ghost Rider content coming up and we're going to do it in this format. We'll like take like a year's worth out because I broke them up into years from like 1990 to 1997. And that's pretty much the length of the book. So we'll do them by year and we'll just go through the covers like this. And then what I'll do is I'll ask you guys to like vote in the comment section of which ones you want me to open and do review episodes on. And what like each stack that we do, depending on the size of the stack, we'll pick three random Ghost Rider issues and uh, I'll let you guys pick. So as we go through the covers, you just tell me, hey, that sounds cool. Like, you know, review that issue and we'll just do a voting thing in the comments. And then that way uh, you guys kind of are in control of the issues that I discuss moving forward. So uh, we won't do it with this issue or this episode, but we'll do it with the next one. So in the next one, we'll go through the whole first year of Ghost Rider comics and appearances. Um, some of these you'll see again, actually, and uh, we'll go through them and then you can pick three of them in the comments below. And all of you, I encourage all of you to you know comment and pick the three you want. Uh, and again, we'll start that with the next episode. So let me know what you think of this. Let me know what you think of the format, if you're enjoying it. And I will definitely have more Ghost Rider content for you very soon. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you in hell. Peace.